I'm Janos Wilder from the Carriage House. So excited for this partnership with Tucson Medical Center. We're really looking forward to bringing you some healthy recipes, some cooking tips. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and some fun cooking. So today we're gonna to make a salad that can be served hot or cold. It can be served by itself. It can be served underneath a protein like chicken or salmon. It's a really starts with an ancient grain, which is farro. This is a grain that's part of the wheat family. And this is a whole grain, so super nutritious, super flavorful, and they've been growing this for thousands and thousands of years. It's not one of the more modern grains that's really milled and hybridized to take all of the vitamins out of it. This is super healthy and, and just fantastic flavor. And we're gonna serve this with broccoli rob, so the broccoli stems from the broccoli rob, which are not, don't head up quite the same, a little bit bitter, so you've got this sort of nuttiness for, from the farro, the, a little bit of bitterness from the broccoli rob, rob, and then we're gonna do a lot of fresh herbs and citrus. The first thing I'm gonna do is chop up the herbs. I'm gonna take a little bit of this mint out, I'm gonna leave that to garnish with. So we have fresh mint here, fresh basil leaves, a little bit of fresh parsley. I'm gonna just roll these up like this. Make them a nice little bundle. Makes it a little easier to start chopping them. So as we chop these, what happens is we're exposing the oils that's in these herbs, and that's when all the flavor starts to come out. So like this, I can smell them, but not super pungent. But as I start chopping this, then the flavors and the aromas of the herbs really start coming through. And we do this at the last minute. You don't really want to chop your herbs very far in advance because they'll start losing their flavor. They lose the aroma pretty quickly. So we're gonna chop these and use them in the next couple of minutes. If you did them at half an hour, an hour ahead, that would be just fine. chives. Now we've got this nice little bundle of herbs here. All right, let's leave those, okay? They're gonna be nice and fresh. So we're gonna start by cooking the broccoli rob. We're gonna saute the broccoli rob. So we're gonna get the pan nice and hot. A Little bit of olive oil in the pan. So I always mention this whenever we're showing anybody how to saute things, start with a hot pan. Very important, so we're getting our pan hot, we're getting our oil hot. That way, as we're cooking things, they won't stick and they won't get greasy. They won't absorb the oil, do a thin coating of oil on the outside. So our oil's nice and hot. Add some our broccoli rub here. this broccoli rub hits the oil, the flavors just start coming out. It's just great. You get really nice broccoli flavor. So tell it's a little bit more bitter, which is what we want here for a real balanced dish. So you've got to be a little bit patient here. Let it cook down. I've just turned down the heat a little bit because I don't really want to brown it. I just want to saute it a little bit, let it get a little bit soft. And I'm going to, in a second here, I'm going to add some water to it. So I'm going to let, a little, little, let it simmer in a little bit of water so it gets just the perfect al dente texture that I'm looking for for the salad.
Okay, so we'll add a little bit of water to it here. And so I put in maybe two ounces of water. So we're gonna just let this cook. I'm gonna keep on moving it around a little bit. We're gonna let that cook until all the water is evaporated. At that point, the broccoli rob is gonna be exactly where we want it. You can probably tell that it's starting to soften a little bit, which is just what we want. The oil spattering a little bit. We don't necessarily want that, but we can't avoid it. See, the water is just about evaporated now. These are getting just to be just about the perfect texture that I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna add the furrow. Fresh herbs we cut up. So we're using, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, but really very little salt to this because we've got all the flavor from the herbs, which is gonna really bring out flavors and add their own flavor, so it means they require less salt that way. I wanna add some raisins here. Raisins add a little bit of sweetness to the dish and a little bit of textural contrast. So you've got three really distinct textures going on here between the broccoli rod, the farro, and the raisin. So that makes for a really interesting dish in terms, of, in terms of the textures. And then lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemons. So as, I, so as I said, so this is, this is a great dish. It can be served by itself. It can be served under proteins. I'm going to show you how to make salmon on another video. We've shown you how to make, how, how to make chicken. We've done all sorts of things. So this is sort of a mix and match so, sort of a dish. And it can be served either hot or cold. I'm going to show you how to serve it hot. But if you wanted to, you could just let this cool in your refrigerator, bring it out the next day, and you've got a nice cool salad. It'd be great on a buffet or as part of a lunch. Pretty, isn't it? Now we save some of those mint leaves. So we're gonna garnish with some of these mint leaves here. So now we've got a really pretty dish, super flavorful dish, working with ancient grains that are great for you. Healthy, delicious, what could be better? Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and fun cooking.